Good morning, students. I see you. A couple of brief announcements before the rocking begins. By the way, this is Assistant Principal Dika Stanzo. Please welcome him. So, let us do a brief rundown of the schedule. Tonight, very shortly, Jonathan Colton. Immediately followed by the Welcome New Monkeys Mixer. Experienced monkeys, stick around. Buy a drink for a new monkey. Make a new friend. Wake up next to somebody new tonight. Tomorrow, at 3 o'clock, Pat Rothfuss will be performing in the Alhambra. And then a couple of dopes named Paul and Storm. And then tomorrow night, at 8.30 by the main pool, the 5th Annual Paul F. Tompkins Memorial Mustache Formal Fez Stravaganza. Followed immediately by Fancy Movie Night. Those of you who have not read, the movie tomorrow night is The Princess Bride. Is there better counter-programming for the Super Bowl? I do not think so. Also tomorrow night, we'll be viewing not one, but if we have time, two episodes of Going Deep with David Reed. Also, don't forget, tomorrow there's a couple of gaming track events. Between 10 and 1 p.m. in the game room is the Tabletop Taste Test. Vice Principal Saborn will tell... Whoops, that was Freudian. <laughs> Vice Principal Di Costanza will tell you what is so awesome about that. Meet the new boss, same as the old boss. <laughs> the tabletop taste test. This is in response to people who've said, I'm not sure what to play, or I, I, I want a new game, or I don't know how to get into gaming on Joko Cruise. So when you show up at the game room for that, sponsored by Steve Jackson, this will solve it. So basically, you'll play a game for, I think it is 10 minutes at a pop. You will not always play it all the way through. You'll get to try a lot of new things, meet new people. It is going to be awesome. <laughs> and then also up in the Cloud Nine room, which was up, up on uh, deck 14, uh, between 12.30 and two is Spotlight on Sentinel Tactics, <laughs> which is, I believe, the new game from Greater Than Games and Chris Burdett. Wait, was Chris here? Somewhere. Somewhere. Everybody just point randomly. He's here somewhere. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, thanks, guys. So that's happening tomorrow, and that's going to be awesome. We have uh, a lost sea pass. Yeah. It's like bingo. Christopher Ayers. Hey, Ayers. Hey, hey, This is going kind to of end in tears, I can tell. <laughs> All right, while they're doing that, several important announcements. I mentioned at the New Monkey uh, get-together, but I do not believe I mentioned at the cocktail party, the internet packages. Did I tell you guys about that? Yeah. Okay. They're, they're, they switched to an internet package system here. Last year and in previous years, we had a, a discount per minute. That is not happening this year. This year, they have their they're big... Uh, Unlimited internet package is usually $229 for the week here uh, for up to two simultaneous uh, machines. They have a special discount for our group of $180 for the week. That's $50 off, which is nice. Those of you not taking the Wi-Fi Temperance Brigade oath, if you are interested in getting the package, just sign up for it normally at the $229 price, and over the course of the week, they will be manually applying the discount to your accounts uh, it's a time-consuming process because there's a lot of you and you love the internet. Uh, but keep an eye on your folio, and if you can either at the front desk or check, you can check it on your TV screen in your in your cabin. If by the last day of the cruise they have not applied that discount, you can go and ask them. But otherwise, they should be taking care of it. Also, once you purchase the package, it is not refundable. So you better really like the internet. <laughs> Important announcement. 
Do not get your Joe Co. Cruise 2015 laminate badges very wet. It, it turns out they kind of delaminate when introduced to too much water. Apparently you can get them moist, but if you say get into the hot tub with them, they may kind of fall apart on you. <laughs> we, uh, we are, if your badge has become subject to over soaking, uh, you can find a helper monkey, we can work on getting a replacement for you. Or if we run out of those, a hastily scrawled version by Greg Storm de Costanzo <laughs> would probably have a penis on it. Those of you who have been on Joko Cruise before know that every year we appoint a monarch of the sea. All the rights and privileges contained therein apply for the duration of the year. Joko Cruise's Joko Cruise Crazy Four's monarch is she here this evening? She be. Ladies and gentlemen. for Queen Courtney and her concert call. It has been a long and fruitful reign, but now we must place her on the ice floe and send her out to sea. As is the way of all things, out with the old and in with the new. By random number generation, we would like to introduce you. Would you please... Hold up the scepter of this year's king or queen. Now bear in mind, this year's king or queen and the consort of their choice get, first of all, seats down front of every main show. They are to be addressed at all times. They are wearing their regalia as your royal highness, my liege, my lord, my life, choose your obsequious name, insert there. Uh, and as I said, uh, they also get to choose who lives or dies. <laughs> so without any further ado, will you please welcome your Joko Cruise 2015 Monarch. Drum roll. This is their crown. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for Her Royal Highness Queen Christina Belcourt Montant. <laughs> has her scepter and her crown. Please also welcome the Joko Cruise 2015 interns, or as they prefer to be referred to as, the confraternity of the Blessed Sea Monkey. And one of them is a medieval studies major, and there's a whole lot of bullshit going on behind the scenes. All we know is we get to tell them what the hell to do at all times. So the queen has her crown. But her consort, uh, we, had a, we had a tiara for the consort. It broke in transit. So now we have, two, we have two choices for the consort, which I believe the queen should decide. The, the blue choice is number one. Pull that up first. That is an adjustable crown that you may not be able to see. says, it's my birthday. And I should point out, it does have an elastic chin strap. Selection number one, or my favorite, the DJ Lance furry head. Hello, my people. I would like to take a vote by applause on the crown, uh, please. I will point out 
two things as, as he takes the crown. First of all, the tag stays. <laughs> and second of all, there is no way that's gonna fit on your head. Because I tried it on. Oh, come on. Oh, look at it. <laughs> Our concert has the head of a six-year-old, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> We welcome the confraternity of the sacred, royal, blessed, motherfucking sea monkey to lead us all in praise of our queen. God save our gracious queen, long live our noble queen. God Would you please welcome to the stage the man without whom literally this would not exist, Jonathan Colton. such a goddamn circus. <laughs> right, number one is the answer. We now have a cappella, which is great. We're just trying to improve your experience, just make it make it a little better every year. This year that improvement comes in the shape of four a cappella singing interns. 